technology has touched the common man in his daily life beyond what we can fathom. From the usage of our smartphones to paying our bills online or the use of voice activated assistants, the space has become far more intelligent than we recognize. In order for India to realize its dream of using artificial intelligence to its maximum capacity, the artificial intelligent revolution has to adapt and proliferate beyond merely consumer goods and information technology. Nvidia is synonymous as the world leader in visual computing. The company is also an avant-garde in GPU accelerated computing. They cater to the large yet growing markets of the gaming industry, professional visualization, data centers and the automotive industry. India as an emerging market has many challenges to overcome. Nvidia, the creator and host of GTCX India, feels that it can contribute in shaping the future of artificial intelligence in India. Nvidia uh, is pivoted on as an AI computing company. Uh, it is our purpose that we make people's life better. We believe that AI basically is going to help make people's life better, is going to reach many more billions of people than what computing has afforded till today and it will be powering billions of devices together. It is in this context, NVIDIA believes that we need to work with every aspect where AI can be applied, which is powered by deep learning and GPUs. India is a critical part uh, of NVIDIA's uh, company. We're a multinational company, but India is a huge part of the core engineering of, of our products, as well as an important customer. India has some of the toughest uh, problems to, to solve that, that, that we believe that artificial intelligence and virtual reality can, can really help, help uh, this great nation. And by both of those things, you know, if we make help make the country better as well as, uh, as um, employ in Indians to help create our technology. It benefits both of us in really profound ways. In 1999, NVIDIA invented the GPU, an innovative processor that helps create pioneering graphics for gaming as well as films. Artificial intelligence is the creation of intelligent machines which are designed to be used in cars, problem solving and learning to name a few. About 10 years ago, uh, we decided that uh, the GPU, the graphics processing unit, uh, could be very valuable uh, as a parallel computing platform, you know, not just for gaming, but for many types of technical applications. And so for the last 10 years, we've been investing into what we call accelerated computing. And uh, using accelerated computing, uh, you can take a certain class of problems and actually get something like 10, 20, sometimes even 100x uh, performance improvement. Uh, and so as we were working on that architecture, uh, AI uh, became, uh, you know, sort of came to the forefront, uh, whereby there was a lot of data and uh, some researchers started realizing that they could train uh, deep neural networks uh, using GPUs and they could do it uh, again, you know, 10, 15, 100 times faster uh, than they can using CPUs. And as soon as we realized that, uh, then we started taking our GPU architecture and optimizing it more and more for AI. Uh, so at this point, uh, frankly, NVIDIA has a huge lead over anybody else. And we are the only company uh, that has the best, or probably uh, the most optimized architecture uh, for AI computing. So NVIDIA is now positioned as sort of the world's best AI computing company. Artificial intelligence is making the machines intelligent. There's a new technique in machine intelligence called deep learning. Deep learning is rapidly taking advantage of GPUs and transforming the way society and industry is going to work. It'll revolutionize every single aspect of our lives. It was very critical that we made sure that people understand that in this world, how the computing model will change. So rather than writing software through instructions, we are going to be writing commands which are learned through learning process. Computers will learn, computers will perceive, computers will do through experience. And that's what was critical, that this large mass of 
developers that we have in a country get to understand how the new computing model will be really required for them to continue to shine and make a difference both to the country as well as to the globe. With the rapid propagation of artificial intelligence in the US and China, India too is making a shift in its policies to proliferate AI. According to Jaipuri EVP Worldwide Field Operations NVIDIA, the core area in which AI would need to evolve and adapt is in the software engineering industry. This would then have a direct impact on various other industries within India. Well, AI is going to transform India, I think, in a couple of ways. Uh, first of all, uh, one of the uh, most important, uh, I think, industries in India uh, is uh, software development, right? Now, software development is going to change in a very radical way uh, with AI. Uh, the way that uh, software was mostly written in the past, uh, you know, is very different from the future where even AI software in some ways writes its own software, right? So I think it's really important that the developers in India become tuned towards AI. The second thing, of course, is uh, uh, AI has the uh, potential uh, to help society in, in many different ways. Uh, and so many of the issues that India has uh, uh, can be uh, helped with AI. The GTC conference first began in 2009 and was held in Silicon Valley. NVIDIA is the creator and host of GTCX India. GTCX India is a regional extension of GTC which creates a platform to connect the industry leaders and academicians. The objective of this event is for the Indian GPU developers to interact and network with the global leaders of this industry. So GTCX is a debut in India this year. Our main purpose was to bring the community of people who are using GPU technology, the developers of India and the young India together so that they can understand many use cases where GPU technology makes a massive difference. At the same time, having spoken about that, there is a new computing model that has got formed, is going to have an impact on both the society and the industry at its transition which is unprecedented. Keeping that in mind, there couldn't have been a better time to bring GTC to India. GTC India is an extension of the GTC that we hold each year at our hometown in San Jose. And for the very first time, we have taken it to multiple countries so that we can touch more developers and users of the GPU technology. GTCX India, organized by NVIDIA, was held on the 6th of December 2016 at the Renaissance Hotel Convention Center, Mumbai. NVIDIA has transformed the gaming and visual effects industry with its path-breaking GPU technology. Shankar Trivedi, Senior Vice President, Enterprise Business NVIDIA, gave us an insight as to how their inventions are at the center of the most consequential mega-trends in technology. So we have a fantastic show for you today. It's all about AI artificial intelligence and, and you have to remember artificial intelligence starts with GPU computing the amazing calculations and simulations you can do with the most powerful processor and the best programming environment invented by mankind and we call that GPU computing and it mixes, it goes along with the best computer graphics. Remember, when you play that interactive game or you watch the amazing special effects in a movie, arts with graphics. And the most important nerve going into the brain is the optic nerve. And here we are. We're standing on the threshold of computing that's associated with the brain, neural computing, artificial intelligence. So we have a fantastic show for you today, and it's all about enabling you, our researchers and our developers. This show is all about developers. We call it GTC, GPU Technology Conference. We started this year 
uh, at, our, at our home city of San Jose. We had over 3,000 people. In previous years, we've been doing this GTC in Japan, but this is the first year we took it worldwide. So, you know, in September, we started in Beijing in China. We then went across to Australia. We went to Seoul in Korea. We had a wonderful show in Taiwan. We had 3,500 people in Tokyo in Japan. And we went to our nation's capital, GTC Washington, D.C. Uh, and today, we are here, the final GTC of the year at Mumbai, India. Stephen Parker, Vice President of NVIDIA India, discussed new age technologies like deep learning and artificial intelligence that exponentially increases the ways of tapping into a wealth of data to invent new processes. The world around us is changing. The, the technology that, and the computational power required to understand the, the world in new ways, in very human ways, to be able to translate languages or to understand images or to understand complex relationships has undergone, undergone, a, uh, has undergone a transformation over the last few years that will really change the way that we interact with computers and the way that we interact with each other. As the leader of visual computing, NVIDIA has also changed the way we perceive our world through virtual reality from the way we can interact with our friends and family to getting our daily jobs done. Virtual reality will change the way that we interact with each other. It allows you to experience a place that you've never been to before. So instead of being nervous about some place that you're, you will travel, you can experience it and understand what it might be like to, to visit that place. It will allow us to connect to relatives in a, that are maybe on the other side of the country or the other side of the planet. It will allow us to learn new things and learn and gain experiences that we may not uh, have the, the time or the money to, to afford otherwise. It allows us to, to see things from a new perspective and develop an understanding of each other as humans that we would never have uh, a chance to otherwise. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, we bring you Padma Bhushan Award winner Dr. Vijay Bhatkar. Welcome back after the break to the first ever GTCX conference held in India. Padma Bhushan Award winner Dr. Vijay Bhatkar talked about the paradigm shift in computing through deep learning, which is the fastest growing field in artificial intelligence. The importance of deep learning is the technology used by computers to react to complex situations which can meaningfully impact our daily lives. Coming to this um, deep learning workshop has been a really an experience for me. What is not, we are just demonstrating a technology advancement. It is a paradigm shift in computing. True to its name, I think, the sweet NVIDIA stole is new visions. You can look at it, it's a new vision of computing. It's a great advancement. And I'm looking at, I think the whole issue why my talk was, and how this advancement can be used to solve the burning problems of the society. We will definitely go ahead. So, but there are such burning problems on one side and such advancement of technology on the other side, which I'm trying to bring it together to really transform the societies. Dr. Vijay Bhatkar also feels that the youth in India are large contributors to the field of deep learning. India's talent pool in the IT sector is huge and the environment for growth is also very vibrant. If these youth are really challenged to create prosperity, to solve the problems of the society, and I'm seeing this happening that ever since this Undad Bharat Abhiyan was launched with the IIT students, and we are posing this problem, is there an answer to this, this problem? For example, irrigation, for how satellite images can use for, that, for disease management. Even for the, I think what we are seeing, the many people applying drones, unmanned vehicles, I think they, if the youth are properly challenged. And of course, we have facilities. We have seen that we have facilities, both instrumentation, computing, networks, and other things which are made available to them. They will come out with some great solution which are never seen before. 
GTCX India is a platform for GPU innovators to connect with professionals across industries, from automotive to big data analytics and manufacturing to energy. Professionals could attend sessions, interact with experts at the NVIDIA Hangouts, take a free session on GPU tutorials and visit the virtual reality village to just name a few. So um, uh, the whole idea was that we will start with a keynote so that we can address the entire public. Uh, give them the foundation on what is really happening in AI, how it can be applied, and more importantly, since people are, are dealing with different subsections of the computing part, the idea was that those who are really interested how to accelerate their applications and the work they do at a faster rate, they should go into high performance computing track. Those people who believe that they want to get more insights to data, may take advantage of data and apply that to their knowledge, they should attend a deep learning one. And there were many people in the audience who believe that how do they simulate their imagination and convert that into reality for which we created the ProVis part. The era of driverless cars is not far away and has more advantages than disadvantages. They would have a significant impact on our lives in terms of road safety, fuel efficiency and give individuals more time. Mr. Yap Zudirveld, Vice President Sales and Marketing NVIDIA, shared the advantages of autonomous cars. I think everybody around the globe is interested in autonomous driving. Yeah. Um, it will take still some years before you will see full autonomous cars on the road. That will take a couple of years. Um, the, the reason also why autonomous driving is, is such of interest is because if you look at road accidents, it's, cause, it's the third cause of death. And um, that's why the automotive industry is so interested in uh, solving that problem. I think it's more than only solving that problem, it's also mobility. And if I focus down to India, for example, I think that um, autonomous driving will be different for India than for the US, for example, or that for Europe. Um, and if I look at uh, India, uh, you might solve two problems, not only um, uh, the amount of people who die in road accidents, which is, I think, 400 uh, a day in India, but also um, trying to solve a, a mobility challenge, like if I now want to go from here to the city center of Mumbai, it will take me two to three hours. And simply people, you know, don't want to waste that much time in a car. Um, and how do you solve those problems, particularly also to, to the country of India? And how do you make uh, this technology um, available to this country to solve some of these uh, kind of challenges? There were innumerable interactive sessions held for the participants in the GTCX conference. NVIDIA presented on a new computing model for AI. Other topics that were covered were medical imaging applications in ophthalmology and oncology, Make in India Parallel CFD Solver and developing the next industrial revolution were among a few that contributed to a vibrant and interactive platform at the GTCX conference in Mumbai. So when we look at all the technology that we make at NVIDIA for rendering and ray tracing, we really serve three different areas. We serve people that are actually creating applications themselves, usually for in-house use. Uh, very specialized applications. We have commercial applications, you know, retail products, uh, things that you might buy from a from a, a large software company, and then of course we, we want to serve end users directly um, in, in what they can use directly from Nvidia. Various editions of NVIDIA Grid, uh, <coughs> editions that VMware supports is, the first one is the Grid Virtual Application, which is more or less used for your RDSH. If you have a single application that needs to be deployed to your end users, that is when you use a Grid application. And you have an NVIDIA Grid Virtual PC, which is more of a heavy task worker, which a graphic intensive operation, which is being done on an NVIDIA card, right, could be a city planning model, right, a 3D or a 2D model. I can do that seamlessly on a virtual desktop. That's what VMware with NVIDIA gives you onto the table. These sort of two phases of deep learning. 
from the training pipeline to the inference pipeline. And I think GPUs are pretty much ex used exclusively in the training pipeline. It simply doesn't make sense to not use GPUs because of the time involved. It can take 30 days, 40 days, 50 days to train a deep neural network using CPUs only. Now imagine a company is developing a car and they want to do this crash test. It takes them a lot of time to do this kind of setup and uh, so invest, huge investment. Once you have a structure collapse, you again modify something, again do it. So you can, you might have to do it 20 times. So it takes you years you know, to do this kind of testing. And you, it, it, actually you spend millions of dollars. Now so you see here, this is uh, same simulation uh, what you see on a car. Now I can do this simulation let's say in one month time. Okay. Once I do a simulation, for example, I figure out that something is going to fail in this car. Okay, so let me make that change. I run again in let's say 10 days. So I can make 20 designs and I can say, okay, now this, this design will work, this car is safe. So this is not only about car. Everybody is utilizing this kind of technologies, this kind of uh, equations and uh, getting the design done as fast as possible. So right now we're getting to a uh, light, and you'll see there's an automatic caption generation happening at the top. So we see a yellow light crossing, yellow light detected. And similarly, now you're moving forward. And voila, we have a traffic light, red light detection. All of this happening real time on this device. The participants were enthralled at the powerful platform that NVIDIA created for them to network across industries. All about building the ecosystem wherein the technology goes at an affordable level to the end buyer, end user. Right now, the technology is in a state where uh, some specialists are using it and uh, the end user, uh, the, uh, the uh, base for end user is growing. Uh, the, th these kind of events are going to help people, the end user, get uh, greater understanding of what the tech has to offer to them. And uh, it's a great initiative by NVIDIA. We're very privileged to be here. Definitely these events are very important. One is for the existing scientific community to come together, listen to latest technologies. Secondly, I was encouraged to see a lot of students have been invited as well by NVIDIA who actually get glimpses into the future of technology which they are likely to work few years later when they come to industry. So definitely these events will help overall technology industry to grow. A VR space was set up for the attendees to experience the potential of virtual reality firsthand. Prime Minister's Make in India vision with Digital India is encouraging the youth to advance in the foray of technology. NVIDIA has set the ball rolling with its first successful GTCX regional conference in Mumbai, encouraging consumers, technocrats, researchers and entrepreneurs to take a quantum leap into the AI-driven future.